At the Sandy River Farm in Arkansas, employees are embracing technology to protect the environment. This farm uses an anaerobic manure digester, also known as a methane digester, to collect manure and convert the energy stored in its organic matter into methane, which is used to produce energy. Environmental Health and Safety Manager Richard Gray invites you to watch what happens in each stage of the process. I'm Richard Gray. I'm Environmental and Health and Safety Manager with Cargill Pork. Um, we're at the Sandy River Farm today. I'd like to talk to you about something kind of unique. Uh, we have an anaerobic digester. What you're seeing here is our uh, anaerobic digester, first step in the system. There are two foot pits under all the production areas in the barn and uh, we flush those once a week. They come into a waste lift station and it's pumped into the anaerobic digester here. When the effluent comes out of the buildings into the digester, the, uh, the bugs in the digester, if you will, break it down into methane gas and then some other gases. But the biogas that we draw off is, is basically methane gas is what we're after there. Uh, and it boils out, boils up to the top, and that's what raises our cover that you see. The, the rest of the solids that remain go on through the system. The digester is, is lined and covered with an HDPE cover. All the methane is captured underneath and we use draw off lines that you can see around the edge of this. It's basically pulled into the biogas building and either taken to the incinerators or flared off. The first stages of this system uh, pretty well hold the, the phosphorus. What overflows into the irrigation pond is still pretty nitrogen rich, but fairly low in phosphorus and potassium. So the, the irrigation water is a good source of nitrogen. So after uh, stage one, which is our digester, the uh, effluent gravity feeds over into our aeration basin, which as the name would imply, it changes our process from uh, anaerobic in the digester to an aerobic system. Uh, in the aeration basin. And it adds oxygen to promote a different set of microbial growth which uh, further breaks down the solids. On this uh, third stage uh, settling basin, it has much smaller aerators to continue the aerobic digestion, but not to the extent as in the second stage. Periodically, those aerators are shut down and we let the uh, effluent settle out and the uh, solids that settle to the bottom are recycled back to the digester. What this is is a sludge transfer station. Uh, periodically we'll shut the aerators off on this uh, third stage uh, settling basin and uh, allow the solids to go to the bottom. We have draw off lines that uh, protrude out into the bottom of this pond. The solids flow into this pump station and uh, is, is pumped back down to the digester. The clear liquid uh, gravity feeds over into the irrigation holding pond. The major benefits of this system are odor reduction, very little odor emitted from the system. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions by trapping that methane and uh, flaring it off or using it in incinerators. There's a really good fertilizer value in both the solids that are cleaned out of this and the irrigation water. Local farmers here realize a uh, value out of the effluent that's applied uh, we use this electric pump to, to pump the effluent out onto the fields. Uh, this pump will run, uh, depending on which pivot we're going to, will run about 750 to 900 gallons a minute. Usually between crops, they will try to get it out and uh, in the summertime, uh, actually use it for irrigation water on growing crops. 